So if you're a man or you have a man in your life, tell me if this sounds familiar. College friends, scattered. Co-workers all seem to be married with children. And on Friday night, the guy's looking not for love, but for bromance. A new app is helping guys seeking company for the man cave. But will they actually go online in search of friends? ABC's Nick Watt gave it a whirl. Yeah. No, I could have just plugged in the app and like, hey, who's out for Taco Tuesday? We didn't know each other until about a half hour ago. Now look at us, sharing injury stories. Get back on the field, all that. Your leg's not broken. Good times. And this might be the salvation of modern male heterosexual friendship. Straight men are basically the least socially evolved humans. Absolutely, yeah. This is needed for straight guys. It's an app called Wolfpack. <laughs> yep, it makes that noise. So, here's how it works. You list your hobbies and interests. Select all that apply sports. Rugby. Why do they have cricket on here? Then either attend a posted event or create your own, basically a group mandate. Mine is drinking beer at ye old King's Head pub in Santa Monica. Football has changed in the past 10 years. <laughs> That's good meathead banter right there. Showing off our tattoos. Oh my. Yeah. 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 You know. Yeah. One of us could be black and white. Brainchild of Niall Niami, movie producer turned developer of the most expensive homes in this country. He was inspired by a recently divorced friend. A lonely guy that, that lost track of all his buddies because he was married for 20 years and when they got divorced, he had nobody to do anything with. Women are better at friend stuff than most men. No, I'm serious. You know Did you see I love you, man? So who's going to be his best man? I have no idea. I honestly think that his best friend is his mom. <gasps> oh, no, no, it's not like, not like that. I got to get some friends. I kind of feel badly for men because they were given the message, if you're very revealing or if you are very intimate, then you're being girly you're being vulnerable. And so even though men may want to have that kind of connection with another man, they've been raised to think, oh, that's not where we should go. That's not masculine. I'm not allowed to do that. I think the women, they keep in touch or they have like a group of women that they, that they stay close with. So if it ever happened that they break up or something changes in their life, they'd have somebody to go to, somebody to talk to. I mean, part of the appeal of this is that my wife and I actually share zero interests. She doesn't like rugby. She doesn't drink beer. We actually, we actually, my wife and I actually have nothing in common. So maybe this will be good. Take the pressure off her, like feigning interest in stuff that I talk about. 4,000 users so far, mostly in LA. John, Rob, and David met at a sports bar event to uh, watch the Clippers. What? You can't find friends in a normal way just by meeting people. What does that mean? So that we're meeting that's people so, That's like online, online dating. dating. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no I'm stigma to online that. dating anymore. So you don't want to do anything alone. I mean, guys want to be in packs, and that's like, it's more natural. Men are feeling more comfortable saying, hey, I have a need for male friendships too. I'm not so different from my wife who gets to hang out with her girlfriends and do lunch, and she seems so happy after she comes back from a day with the girls. Guys want that too. We started talking over the app and then we just kind of found each other and then we just kind of watched the game, had some beers and enjoyed the game. It was a good yeah. game. Is John being just a little uh, planes, trains and automobiles? See that Bears game last week? Yeah, hell of a game, hell of a game. Bears got a great team this year. They're going to go all the way. We were very cognizant from the very beginning of this thing to make this like a manly sight, you know? I mean, from all... And platonic. Of... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. You know, I don't want to embarrass anyone, but you, you quite like each other. They won't admit it, but they liked me enough to show up at my king's head shindig. Pretty good turnout, right? I'm stoked. It is clearly men in their 30s looking for bromance. It's this point in life where a lot of my friends are married, having kids, and nobody wants to do anything anymore that's even remotely fun. Beefy Kevin was married 10 years, recently divorced. I, I used to go on like a bowling team, but like the bowling team was literally my brother-in-law and his <laughs> uncle and you know, another co-worker of hers. And at some point you just kind of had to slice that out and then start right, right, filling the right. holes with other ways. God, how many friends have I lost because I broke up with a girl? Mutual friends, oh my God. So many friends, just revolving door. Yeah, yeah. With Wolfpack, 
You can pick and choose new ones. And if I don't like you, I'll discard you at the end of the day. Anyway, I'm like, deuces, I'm never going to see you again. Like, there's no harm. I tried one of the other ones, too. It was so broad that there would be people there, but not a whole lot that I had in common. Like, I thought, oh, I'd like to hike. I'll go on a hiking group. Maybe I can make some new friends. And no offense to people, but I get there, and there's like a 65-year-old woman, which, awesome that she hikes. More power to her. But we're not going to go hang out afterwards, you know? I love how technology is giving us permission to venture into new areas that can be healthy. And so it's great that men are realizing they have this need to connect with other men. Here we're bonding over guy stuff, beer and bar snacks. The hangover is more profound than I dared believe. And six months ago, when Doug introduced me to you guys, I thought, wait a second, could it be? And now I know for sure I just added two more guys to my wolf pack. I'm building my own pack. Rob, John, Dave and I are meeting soon for deep fried Mars bars. You wouldn't get it, it's just a little inside joke between bros. I'm Nick Watt for Nightline. Oh! Santa Monica.